Hello my friend, I'm John Silva. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create cartoon eyes using Affinity Designer 2.0. If it's your first time here, I just want to ask you to subscribe here, leave the like and let's get started. All right, the very first step that I want to do here view it is to simulate a situation that you need to create an eyes here using Affinity. Let me show you. First of all, I have here this example from the character that I made on Vectorize. So I just want to ask you if you want to learn much more than this tutorial that I do here weekly on this YouTube channel, I ask you to join on the Vectorize Club because it's on there that you will have access to many tutorials. Guys, in that case, I want to do here the eyes for this character just to show you how you can do. This is gonna be very simple, very for beginners. So follow me and you're gonna be fine. The very first step it is to create the ellipse. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna grab here first the color in white, just like this. And then I will zoom into this area and then I'm gonna add here a circle like that and then I will duplicate this go here in edit duplicate selection and resize and then you can make this in blue and then I will duplicate this again but in that case I'm gonna use my shortcut and then I'll make this in black so I have here three shapes for now but there are just one missing which is the highlight press V to, to move this Hold out and move this onto the top in order to have this result. You are gonna duplicate this by hotkey. Make this as white, scale this down, and then you're gonna have already a nice result for the eyes. But we're not finished yet. In this stage, I want to show you how you can clip. Because if you want right now to convert this to curves, this shape here, the, the main eyes, and then you scale this down, you're gonna see that it is not clipping. That's why I like to bring all these shapes here by dragging here inside of the main eyes. Let's call this layer as eyes. And these are the pupils, you know, the highlight, and then I can have the clipping. Congratulations, my friend. Now, if you uh, are enjoying, please leave it a like. In that case, I'm going to click here to create. Now we have here uh, the symbols created. Make sure to enable this symbols panel right here on top, symbols. After that, I'm going to duplicate this by dragging into here. So the nice thing about this is that if you change, you know, the eyes are gonna change in another. So like, just like that, very nice. To make the cartoon eyes, what's important, I'd say, it is to add the strokes. I'm gonna do this technique and you'll see how that works. I will, first of all, use the paint tool and then I'm going to create here this line which is going to represent the eyes brows okay so it's like this but don't worry as you can see it's doing the same side and what i suggest you to do it is exactly this you need to select this shape all right this one and then you need to go here and flip horizontal okay now it's working better but we still have this uh, you know highlights going on opposite side we need to avoid this this is something that Many, uh, let's say, beginners struggle, uh, you know, because it's important to make this uh, coming from the same light direction, right? I want to deactivate the sync, move this highlight into here, and get back to the sync. And then, as you see, the symbol is still working. Okay, this is what we want. And also, we can change uh, the eyes position, and this still will work nicely. But the highlight will not work because we have changed this. All right, once you change, I think you will start to ignore that shape specifically. Right now, it is time to polish even more our design. In that case, I want to do here the eyes brows because the eyes brows, it is where the emotions happen, okay? You can make an angry face, I can make more open face. Well, first of all, I want to select this eyes brows using the node tool and then I'll select all these nodes, click here on top, convert to smart and then I'm gonna have this result which is very clean. In that case I can change here, you know, these colors, we can make something like that to match with the color of the character, really cool. Guys, I will show you this nice technique. I usually do this, I duplicate the shape, I will resize and then I will apply here this one inside of another one just like that and then i'll make this a bit more lighter and the one that's below all right i can make this a bit dark then i can have this very subtle result which is very clean and nice now what we can do we can apply a little bit of gradient here inside of our eyes here that case i want to press g which is the gradient tool go here to the elliptical and then you can do this all right you can change and move uh, this to make this even better in that case i'm gonna make this a bit more push it to orange 
okay like that and then i want to bring here this shape as well i want to press g and then i want to apply a little bit of gradient just to give more life to these eyes as you see very simple right in that case i want to duplicate this area just want to duplicate make this as white don't worry what we do it is to use the transparency tool the transparency tool is gonna create this smoothness of light so you see that i can resize here and look at this the result is coming even nicer i can control here how vibrant is this you know highlight that's coming onto here and also we need to apply a little bit of i'd say outlines on these eyes I want to add here this width as you see but be careful right because what I want to do it is to make this a, a bit more organic it is too straight you know it is not very organic and then I want to make this and expand the stroke as you see now we have the outlines now expanded so I can change it right here as you see I'll bring this layer below because then I can move this over here and then you can start to have more I'd say anime results so we can apply here here I will resize a little bit more because I want to make this not too bold and stroke I will now uh, show you how you can change the expression because as you see the car seems to be very serious you know uh, this happened because the form of the eyebrows I can make this even more let's say soft a more friendly eye so I will change this more or less to something like this avoid a bit this contraction over this area so now I can move this and open even more the expression like that you can see now very good and here as you see I can change and make this eyes a bit more open it if I want but make sure to select these both shapes press a and then you can move them just like this look at this now the result this is exactly what I want to show you in this tutorial is that you can change easily the expressions you know can you see you can make the character like this this you know borrowed more eyes open it uh, for example, you can make him using right now. Look at this the mesh tool. I'm gonna use here the quad because look at this. I can make the eyes a bit more, you know, squashed just like this. But be careful. <laughs> now you can start to even change the color of, for example, the eyes here. You can make this, you know, in red. This can be more orange. And we start to see awesome results by even changing because the way that we did here the eyes is to make simple it's it's to make effective the way that you can apply so let's back to the blue eyes just like this for example let's apply here i will just resize this popular that case i'm gonna make something like this and then i want to make uh, the character smiling a little bit so let me just make something you know, uh, like that and I will apply here a very small mouth that case first I will create here this triangle shape just like that nice I will zoom here in this area I'm gonna make this can be dark here the outline I'm gonna remove I will press C corner to make this rounded and here I will duplicate this, move this in here inside and make this as white. If it was too fast, please pause the video and repeat again so you'll be able to follow. Look at this, I can now change here you know, the expression, can make this even you know, bigger, move here this eyes brows, make this bigger. So it's up to you, okay? Uh, the way that you can apply the eyes is very simple. So this was a quick tutorial about how you can create eyes know in high quality and amazing eyes and of course you can always add more details because the way that I show you here it was just to make this very simple but you can consider to add even more uh, shadows that case here inside of the eyes because you can be able to uh, add a bit more contrast right so if you want to make your designs more appealing I suggest you to always uh, take a look over how your contrast are working in that case I may add here a bit more shadow in the, here in this area you know uh, on top and also I can add a little bit here below but in that case I'm gonna apply a bit of transparency over here as you can see and then you can start to fix here the curves just like that I'm using mouse and look at this my friend we have just created 
this ice tutorials for you all right my friend you can keep watching these tutorials here by clicking on the next video available to you and also you can join on the vectorize club because it is only in there that you can have access to many and hundreds of contents that i made with affinity designer well that's it and i hope to see you soon take care and bye bye